Hello, amazing international woman. This is Thomas Johnson III, and let's jump into your family reading for the week of September 27th to November 3rd. Already November coming up. So, in the upcoming week, there's going to be some learning opportunities in the area of family. Now, the area of family can be people who uh, raise you, your nuclear family. It can be people you work with, people you volunteer with. I mean, it can be about yeah, pretty much anyone, your soul tribe, people who really help you with your purpose. And what we're gonna find out is what are the learning opportunities and how can you learn from them? So let's take a look. Uh, take the one that works for you. You will find it sooner than you think. So let's see here. We have, ooh, ooh, interesting. Wow, got the family pleaser. This also came up in the work reading. That's interesting. So family pleaser. What I'm getting is, this is a continuation from the previous week, kind of. There's a, there's a, ah, oh, there's a, there's a family member that always asks you to help them out. And you always say yes, that's what the pleaser does. There's four hearts and they're all empty from the chest. You know, we have one heart. If we're giving away four, um, where's the love for ourselves? Hence, stressed out. Ah, so this family member is going to ask you for something. It's nothing new. Um, it's the same thing keeps happening. Uh, uh, the same thing happens again and again. This family member asks for help with something. And you say yes, even though you really don't want to. So that's the learning opportunity. If something repeats life over and over again, it's an opportunity to learn. Um, and what I'm getting is this family member plays victim. They really get you. They're like, oh, you know, it's really hard. What I'm, I'm going through a tough time in life. And then in your head, you're like, yes, again. And, <laughs> and they have their poor me story. And, and you love this family member. And it's just like, ah, they play this victim card. Look, listen to my story, poor me. And you being the amazing human being you are, you want to help naturally. However, there's a point where if you give, 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 and never say no, then you're drained out in stress. If you're drained out in stress, how can you help people as much as you normally can? Ah, this person is a drain, victim, plain victim. And, but as we do when we're stressed out or not sure what to do, we rationalize. We completely rationalize this. We're like, okay, they're my family member. I love them. Plus, if other people are happy, then it's all good. You know, serve others, make them happy. Think of others before yourself are probably the thoughts that go through the head. So that's the thing that's coming up in the week. Now, how can you learn from it? How can you learn from it? I like to give like solid practical advice. Once again, take the one that works for you. Oh. We got the double sage card. This means the real you is gonna show up next week. The real you, the one that is able to say no to this family member. Ooh, can you feel it? Can you feel it? You can say no to them. Kind of makes, maybe makes your body go ooh, like this. And we have the explore and navigate power. Now here's what I'm getting. The explore power is getting super, super curious. It's like a, like a, anthropologists watching a, a, a new tribe, like a tribe of ancient people, or think about Star Trek or any sci-fi show where they would observe uh, a pre-industrialized civilization and they would watch it to understand what's going on. What are they doing? Why are they doing it? So in your case, the message I'm getting is ask yourself, you know what? Why am I so prone to this family member's poor me story. What is it about? Like, what am I getting out of it? What am I getting out of it? What's the, what's the little payoff? Like there's something, I'm, I do this and then I temporarily feel something. Whatever that something is, that's what this repeating pattern is being driven off of. It's like a quick little, ooh, I feel good or whatever your personal feeling is. And it's that, it's like a dopamine hit in the brain and then there's this little feeling of oh i helped someone 
before it goes back down and then the family member comes back again it's like an up and down up and down up and down it's a it's not a it's not a sudden roller coaster this is more of a gradual roller coaster that's been happening over a lifetime and now it's just building up and building up and building up and sounds like your breaking point's coming up here pretty soon like it's it's there's enough of this going on so why am i doing this what's that feeling and to navigate this is where you find the best way for you to handle this situation and i'll take you through it right now you close your eyes you imagine there's a timeline, your timeline. And where is the past? Look towards it. Where is your future? It might be in front of you from left to right, or it might be going through you from front to back. Float out oh, up and over the future and come to the spot where your future self is that's already learned from this and drop down. And you see their face. It's you, calm loving, peaceful, wise, amazing, and ask them, what would I have already done to have easily and effortlessly, effortlessly said no to this family member and loved myself in the process? Get your answer. Put your hands on your heart and say, thank you and then float back up, come back to now and into your body and open your eyes. And you have your answer. And this is where the real you pops out. This is where the real you comes out. You know your answer. Now, I'm going to clarify for some ways to do this, to clarify. You might, uh, you might have your answer or you might not have it. And this will jog some ideas, what you can do. Service. Uh, you, this is in total service of yourself and others. Despite what the pleaser says, as you should know by now, the pleaser always says, by helping others, you will be happy because they're happy. And you know from experience, actually, you're stressed out and you get a temporary hit of feeling good and then the cycle repeats. So this is total service for yourself, learning how to say no. Let's clarify a few more. I've oh, got two cards. Hobbies and travel, ah, so uh, this upcoming week, hobbies and travel seems to be the the, uh, the theme. Um, I have an idea in, in that's coming up that's traveling is one of your hobbies. What I mean by this, I mean, for example, hiking in nature, uh, going to a cafe and reading a book, going fishing, being somewhere peaceful away from your usual place where you spend time and relaxing. That's the message I'm getting for some um, actions to be taken. Is there any, yeah, we'll clarify one more. We'll clarify one more for this family thing. Which one, which one? This one, love. It's all about self-love. This upcoming week is all about learning to love yourself that so that you can love others without being stressed out. So your thing for the upcoming week is probably a family member is going to come up and ask you to help them. And it's your learning opportunity to learn how to say no. And there's some information in this video to ease that process make it so it can happen and so you can love yourself okay this is thomas johnson third and see you in the next video